So you may wonder why I am at the edge of the road. Hi everyone, my name is Laura and welcome to Casa Caribe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dye using dandelions. But first, we have to find them. And the best place to find them is at the edge of the road. Walking down the road, I found a place full of dandelions. So with the help of a glass container and scissors, I'm going to pick up some flowers. I'm not going to take all the flowers that I found, only two or three per plant. And then I'm going to find another place. I found here a lot of dandelions. Dandelions are good for the ecosystem because they attract a lot of pollinators. This is why it's very important to pick flowers in different parts of the street. After you have picked up a good amount of flowers, leave the glass container outside for at least a couple of minutes so that the, all the insects that are inside the flowers can go away. If you need, shake a little bit the glass. Then add water to a pot. The amount of water depends on the amount of flowers that you have. Then add the flowers to the water. Here I'm using a proportion to one on one, which means the same amount of flowers as the weight of the fabric. Mix the flowers so that they are covered in water. And then turn off the heat. At a medium temperature, it's okay. Put the lid on and let it simmer for 30 minutes. During these 30 minutes, check the color and mix the flowers. After simmering for 30 minutes, I have reached an orangey color. So I'm going to turn off the heat and let the color to rest. I'm going to let the flowers soak overnight so that they can release all the color.
In the meanwhile, I'm going to prepare the fabric. All of this fabric are already pre-treated with potassium alum. If you want to know how to mold on the fabric with potassium alum, I'm going to leave a link of my video on the description down below. I have cotton, linen and wool. I'm going to take all the fabric and soak it in water. This will open the fibers, helping the fabric to take more color. The next day I have reached a very intense color in the water. So I'm ready for the next step, that is the actual bath. I'm going to take a side. a cloth and I'm going to drain the color to remove all the flower particles. I recommend to do it outside because you may cause a mess just like I did. So this is the final color. As you see, it's very greeny, but at the end it's going to be more yellow. I'm going to take a pot and I'm going to pour the color. You can also pour more water so that the fabric can move freely. Now I'm going to add the fabric that I let soak in overnight. This is the cotton. The linen. And the wool. As I said before, the fabric are already mordant with potassium alum. Once you add the fabric, mix very well to remove all the air bubbles. Then turn on the heat at medium temperature. Then I'm going to let it simmer. After 30 minutes, I have reached an intense yellow greeny color. Remember to mix the fabric while you simmer to avoid any stain. If after 30 minutes you are satisfied as I am with the color, you can turn off the heat and let the fabric soak. This time I'm just going to let it soak for about two hours. But if you want a richer color, you can leave it soak overnight. After two hours, I'm going to squish the fabric to remove the excess of color. And I'm going to wash it fast to remove any pieces of flour that may still attach to the fabric. Just 
just look at this lovely greeny yellow. I realized that there is still a lot of color on the pot so I'm going to save it for later to do a second bath. You can save it in a glass container like this one for one or two weeks. During the summer I recommend to store it in the fridge with a very big label to indicate that this is a natural dye. After a quick wash on the water, I squish all the excess of water from the fabric and then let all the fabric to dry. And here are the results after dry. In wool, cotton, and linen. I really hope that you find this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel, clicking the button down below and also clicking on the bell so you don't lose any other video like this. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye! So you may wonder why I... Oh.